Hello and welcome back to another video of this Power Automate email automation series. In this video, we will see how to read email and how to get required data from email body. Here we will use Power Automate crop text action. Before go ahead, it is a request to all of you. If you like the content of this video, so please hit the like button. One like is a big support for our YouTube channel and subscribe my channel for more video. Go ahead and let's start the video. First, here you can see uh, this is the email body. So here we will take this order number and this date and this email ID. So we want this order number date and email id okay so here i am created a flow first action i am using here set variable take and drag and drop here and here i am giving the email id variable name is a email id okay click on save and Next action I am using launch outlook. Click on save and this retrieve email. Here I am giving email ID variable and I want inbox inbox and I am using unread email message only and like this. And here you can see here this is the subject. So I'm this subset line and paste here okay. and click on save here I'm using for each loop also for each loop take and drag and drop here this variable uh, retreative emails changing the variable name here email current email I'm giving here variable name and here I'm using crop text action take and drag and drop under this for each loop click on this variable and current item here I want body current mail body and I am select this uh, get text between two specified flags. So I am select this one and end flag. So here you can see this is the start. So I am taking from here to here and copy this text start flag. So I am pasting here and for end flag for end string we can say so i'm using this one okay and paste here click on save one more thing here you can see this two variable already created so i'm renamed this as a order number okay click on save first we will test this message here we will give the variable as a order crop text click on save let's run and see Here you can see this is the first email that is unread and here you can see this is the order number match with uh, message. Here you can see both are correct. This one. So, same thing we will do with order date and email id also. Again, we will take crop text 
for date. A current email get text between two specified flags and start flags. So there I'm giving start flags from this one. Label date. Copy. Paste here. End flag. So for end flag, I'm using this. Copy save again. I'm taking for email ID for text current current email. This time I'm I am flag start flag. I'm using a uh, start plan for your email ID string copy and paste here and for and flag I'm using this thanks copy and paste here for clicking I'm giving the name email id okay. email id click on save and i have to add it second crop variable name i have not uh, rename it so that's why this is one so here we are taking in this message box we will give the variable name first is the uh, order number second is date again we click on this or email id so you can see click on save click on save next and let's run the bot here you can see order number and date but here you can see our email id is not coming something is missing so we have to test uh, we have to check so first is the bot and we do the third crop here here you can see we have to give the email current email uh, current email body because we are we are looping on the body only so we have to give the body current email dot body click on save Again, we will test and see now this time email ID is coming or not. Yeah, here you can see our email ID is coming. This is the first mail, first and second email. You can see order number, date, and email ID. Order number, date, and email ID. Number date and email ID. This is the last. Okay. So this is the very easy way how to get required from email body. Hope you like the content of this video. So please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more video. I will see you in the next video. Power Automate email automation series. Till then, happy learning.